we've got to blend in, remember? Today, we're just Michael and Liz, out for a casual breakfast. Absolutely, dear. Let's get some of those famous pancakes and see if they live up to the reviews. Jessica! This is becoming a habit. I am. What's your excuse now? I am so sorry. My bus was late and I had no one to drop off my son. I will make it up to you. I'll say later, I promise. Blah, blah, blah. Promises don't run this business. Punctuality and reliability do. I can't have you setting a bad example every other day. I understand, sir, but I really appreciate your patience. It won't happen again. Please, I need this job. No more excuses, all right? Start with this table. Good morning, welcome to our restaurant. My apologies for any disturbance. May I get you something to drink while you look over the menu? A cup of coffee would be lovely, thank you. And please, take your time. We're in no rush. Yeah, make that two coffees, please. It looks like you've had a rough start to the day. <sighs> it's tough, isn't it? Being pulled in all directions and still having to put on a brave face. It's difficult for sure, but we try our best. Managers should be supporting their staff, not breaking them down. Jessica, oi! Hey, John just told me you did a mix-up yesterday. Something about putting dairy in a dairy-free omelet. This kind of negligence can't continue. I'm so sorry, it won't happen again, I promise. Make sure you double check, all right? We cannot afford any more mistakes today. Don't let it get to you. Everyone has off days and you're handling it with grace. Thanks, thank you, ma'am. It's just some days are harder than others, especially with little support here. <laughs> Is, is there a problem here? Because if you have time to chat, you clearly aren't busy enough. Actually, I was complimenting her on her service. She's been very attentive despite the obvious challenges. Yeah, well, this isn't a charity. We run a business. If you can't keep up, maybe this job isn't for you, Jessica. I believe a good work environment is part of running a successful business. Maybe there's a better way to handle this? Hey, who are you be, huh? Her union representative? Let's keep the customer-staff interactions professional, all right? Shall we? Thank you for your kindness. I really appreciate it. Kindness, mindness. Also, you left the condiment station in complete disarray. This is all simple stuff. Why can't you get it right, Jessica? I was just about to sort it. I just wanted to get a couple table orders. Uh, excuses, excuses, oh, always excuses. You know, maybe if you focus more on your work and less on everything else, you wouldn't be in this situation. That's enough. I can't sit back and watch this any longer. <laughs> what exactly do you think you are, huh? You can't just... I am Michael Pearson, the CEO of this franchise. And what I've witnessed today is not only unprofessional, it's against everything our company stands for. The CEO? We believe in treating every employee with respect, and that's something that's clearly lacking here. Jessica, you have shown incredible resilience and dedication. I'm sorry you were subjected to this. Effective immediately, your salary is doubled as recognition of your hard work and to aid with your transportation needs. And you, I expect your resignation by the end of the day. This behavior will not be tolerated. We will also be conducting a full review of your management practices in this location. So, so you're the big boss, huh? That doesn't change the fact that someone has to keep things running here. You think you can watch in and understand what we deal with daily? I understand more than you think. And treating staff with respect is fundamental, something you've clearly overlooked. <laughs> respect, <laughs> respect. This is a business, not a support group. If you pamper them, they're gonna walk all over you. You think doubling her salary solves the problem? It's about discipline. Discipline is one thing, bullying is another. There's a clear line and you've crossed it repeatedly. This isn't about pampering. It's about creating an environment where employees can thrive. That leads to better service and better business. You sit in your office all day, out of touch with the ground reality. You don't see the late arrivals, the sloppiness, the excuses I have to deal with, not you, me. But we did see today. We saw enough to know that your methods are not just harsh, they're destructive, and it stops now. Your approach is simply not what our company stands for. It's not just about following rules, it's about leading with empathy, which you lack. And what about my rights, huh? Don't I get a say? You come here one day, and decide everything based on a couple of minutes? I've seen enough. And frankly, the turnover rates and customer complaints from this location speak volumes. Your say has resulted in a toxic work environment. That's not acceptable. All right, 
All right, just give me another chance. I'll change the approach if that's what you want. It's too late for that. I need leaders who instill confidence and loyalty, not fear. You're not right for us, not anymore. You'll receive a severance, and I recommend you reflect on this as a learning opportunity. How you manage affects more than just the bottom line. It affects lives. Changes will be made, starting with respect and support for all of you. You know what? You keep your severance package. Because when I come back, I'm going to come back for a lot more than we're trying to give me right now. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Get out. I'm going to let everybody know that this branch is the worst, that you guys are the worst owners, that there are rats in the kitchen, that you guys have cockroaches going all over the place. I am not going to sit there and take this quietly, all right? You're going to hear till from, from, from everybody, from my lawyer, from everyone. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Of course. We're like a family here, and we look forward to seeing you grow. Another restaurant saved. You got that right. Your approach is simply not what our company stands for. It's not just about... <laughs> music is blaring. It doesn't work. It's long. Quick rave, quick rave. Quick, yeah, yeah, dance break, dance it's, break. It's, it's, it's. It's an arm workout. I was yeah, like, yeah, sorry, I should have it hold it up. Yeah, oh right. Yes. And then you guys just turn to each other. Another restaurant saved. Yeah. God. God, okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Ooh. Who's, who's saying that one? Are you saying it? You what? want to say it? another restaurant saved? No, you're the CEO. You say it. <laughs> Managers should be supporting their staff, not breaking them down. Jessica, tired of the <laughs> This industry, this this whole thing, is gonna go down in a couple years. You you watch, you just sit there and watch like you always do. Keep going, Kev. All the way up the door and just keep yelling. Nice. This is such. B -b 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 -b. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just be like, you know what? You keep your severance package because when I. F <laughs> I got too carried away. Again, but sorry, sorry, sorry. That was accidental, 100% accidental. Jessica! Oi! John just told me that you mixed up orders yesterday. Something about putting dairy free omelette in an omelette. Oh, wait, is that it? <laughs> Something about putting dairy in a dairy, dairy, in a dairy free omelette. This kind of negligence can't continue. Let me do it again. Yes. <laughs> dairy free omelette in the dairy. Yeah, you the, put omelette in an omelette. <laughs>